Hi everyone, welcome to the Grace Life DIY Home Decor. So in today's video, I'm going to be making an autumn floral ring DIY with items that I purchased mostly from the Dollar Tree. Now, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I want to say welcome. I hope that you like my video. I hope that you stay and subscribe. Now remember that subscribing to the channel is totally free and clicking that like button and full watching the video, this helps me to grow. Also comment below because I would love to hear from you. Okay, so in order to make this floral ring, I just want to tell you exactly how much I purchased these things for because I have a photo I'm going to be uh, linking to the video showing you how similar floral ring arrangement was $169, which I know that I am replicating that very similarly for probably $10 to $15. Now this silver glitter uh, foam sheet, I purchased that at Walmart and I'm pretty sure that was under a dollar. So what I'm doing is just cutting, we're going to go ahead and cover that block foam with this sheet. So all I was doing was measuring and then cutting um, what I needed in order to go around that foam block. Now I did put a little slight slit in there because we are pushing that uh, the largest one of those three rings into that foam block. Okay, and so we don't really want that to move. So I'm pushing it down and then I'm using a permanent adhesive and hot glue. So the permanent adhesive will help that not to move and hopefully make that as permanent as it can be because it is in a foam block and we have to leave that sit 24 to 48 hours and make sure when you're using an adhesive you are in a well ventilated area because these fumes are not good for you now we are going to go ahead and add some hot glue and this will keep it still enough so that we can continue working Now I went ahead and I pushed that ring over to the side because that needs to sit until that hot glue sets. So we may as well go ahead and start making the bow that's gonna hang from the top part of this uh, wreath ring. Now remember that we are making an autumn floral arrangement and I am so gravitating to that burnt orange color. So this is gonna look absolutely beautiful when it's done. Uh, again, I'm using that orange color. So we're gonna go ahead and use the uh, orange bow uh, ribbon in order to make this bow. And then we're gonna go ahead and embellish around that. And I can't wait for you to see that part. Remember, step by step, slow the video down if you wanna work along with me to make this wreath. Now I'm going to be linking that picture momentarily, you're going to see it. And that simple wreath was $169. And the bottom part of this wreath was not embellished at all, where we're embellishing the bottom. And so I know that I recreated this 
for, I'm going to say anywhere between $12 and $15. So great job, huh? <laughs> Now, once I got the bow made, then I decided to go ahead and add uh, the loose leaves that the dollar sells in the pack for $1.25. And I forget how many come in there, but you get way more than enough that you need in order to fill in, you know, the little gaps here and there on this bow. Then I also used some pumpkins, and I'm not sure what else I added to it, but when it was done, it was gorgeous. Okay, now this came out absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and move that bow over to the side. We're gonna bring the, uh, the ring and the foam block back, and we're gonna go ahead and cover that rest of that foam block with the silver uh, glitter sheet.
Isn't that looking absolutely beautiful? That's coming along nicely. So we do have to let that uh, haku set a little bit. So in the meantime, we're grabbing some florals. Of course, I'm grabbing them in that nice orange color for the fall. And we're gonna start making a swag to place on the top of that ring. Now, in order to tie this, you can go ahead and use some floral wire. I've used jute twine before. I pretty much use whatever I have on hand. But this time around, I went ahead and I grabbed a zip tie. And that's probably the best way to go about it because, you know, once it's tight there, it's not going to come loose. And the same thing with attaching it to the ring. Okay, but we're not up to that part yet, so let's keep this part moving. Now, once I have that tied, I went ahead and I grabbed some more of those loose leaves and we're gonna go ahead and keep adding those to embellish and get it ready so that when we attach it to the ring, and that's really my best part is just embellishing the whole thing so it looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna leave you to a little bit of music and I'm gonna see you at the end. Okay guys, so what I decided to do, okay, is if that wasn't enough, I decided to go ahead and paint some of these maple leaves and some of these wooden apples. And I wanted to add it to the bottom part of the arrangement. It's gonna look gorgeous, guys. Wait till you see me, um, wait till this part here is done. So let me go ahead and take a few minutes just to get these painted and then we'll attach everything together. And then we'll be heading over to the reveal, guys. the Dollar Tree is carrying some Martha Stewart paint and it almost feels like the antique wax except with a hint of green so what I did is I went ahead and painted these pieces and then I came back with a paper towel and kind of wiped those down before we go ahead and start embellishing the bottom of that ring with these wooden pieces here I'm gonna use a piece of jute twine in order for me to attach this whole uh, swag piece and the bow to the top of that ring and then we'll embellish the bottom now I did use the Jenga blocks because this is what we're gonna place those wooden pieces the maple leaf and the apples to the bottom of that arrangement Now I'm also using some of the little tiny pumpkins uh, to decorate the bottom of that, um, that block. And I'm also using the faux leather leaves. And this is just so festive. It's a great idea for, um, for a gift. It's a great centerpiece. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, 
guys so we're just poofing this up a little bit let's head on over to the reveal guys So duplicating that piece was absolutely fun and the cost it's not even it, it didn't even come anywhere near close to that so I'm really happy about that and I like mine better <laughs> I hope you guys agree it came out absolutely gorgeous so if you like the video click like share and comment don't forget to subscribe guys and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every single time I upload a video have an amazing day guys I'll see you in the next one